Within six months of launching the first large survey vessel, Garden Reach Shipbuilders has launched the second large survey vessel today. These survey ships are capable of full-scale coastal and deep-water hydrographic survey and collection of oceanographic and geographical data for defense applications such as anti-submarine warfare. The DRDO is participating in Defense and Technology Expo at Chennai, where it has showcased the Arjun Mark one main battle tank and recovery vehicle, Airbus A319-based Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control aircraft, the UTAM radar, several derivatives of cavalry engine, and many such advanced defense technologies. After conducting several sorties in unloaded configuration at the Indian Navy's shore-based test facility at INS Hansa, the Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet Block 3 fighter jet has started ski jump tests in different loaded configurations, that includes the 160 km range AIM-120 D air-to-air -air missile, the AIM-9X Block 2 missile that features a lock-on after launch capability to target high-speed enemy targets in an electronic countermeasures environment, the AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missile and external fuel tank. The FA-18 will also perform ski jump takeoff with two dummy harpoon missiles in the coming days. Boeing officials have said that the latest Block 3 configuration is suited to protect India's maritime interests, and it will open up opportunities for greater interoperability between the navies of India and US for a secure Indo-Pacific. The Utam Mark 1 airborne ACE radar for fighter jets has ended its final round of testing, and it will soon start user-assisted trials before it is cleared for production on a mass scale, that will come equipped from 21st stages Mark 1 onwards. An upgraded Utam Mark 2 radar has also been delivered to the RDO for further testing, that will be incorporated in the first pre-production Tejas Mark 2 aircraft which is scheduled to roll out in early 2023. A proposal to develop a naval version of the improved Utam Mark II radar for TED-BF program is also likely to be approved soon. The Electronics and Radar Development Establishment is also developing a lightweight uncompact gallium nitride-based next-generation ACER radar for the AMCA program. At the 11th India-UAE Joint Defence Cooperation Committee meeting held in New Delhi, both sides have agreed to identify new areas for setting up joint ventures, and further expansion of scope and complexities of the existing joint exercises. Officials have confirmed that discussions related to the BrahMos missile to the UAE is in advanced stages. The visiting delegation from UAE interacted with representatives of Indian defence industries and also visited several defence manufacturing facilities. The Indian Navy has released a footage of its Talwar-class frigate firing a still one ship on medium-range air defence missile, which successfully destroyed an incoming sea-skimming target. The data is fed from the onboard 3D all-round surveillance radar, and one, two or three missiles are assigned automatically for each target at a time. The still one is capable of engaging up to 12 targets simultaneously. Indian Navy frigate INS Satpura has arrived at a Royal Malaysian Navy base to conduct a four-day joint bilateral exercise, with a aim to further increase interoperability and military ties. The Indian ambassador also met the commander of Eastern Fleet of the Royal Malaysian Navy at a naval base, and both sides engaged in fruitful discussions on further intensifying naval cooperation. Several countries in the region are in talks with India for the procurement of BrahMos missile, that will provide deterrence against any attempt to undermine sovereignty. The Defence Expo 2022 which was postponed due to logistics problems experienced by participants in March, has now been scheduled to take place in October, for which invites are likely to be sent out in the first week of June. Prime Minister Modi will be inaugurating the five-day exhibition, where thousands of Indian and foreign companies will take part in the event, while participation of Russian defence companies is not clear.
Oh, my God.